And an Adelaide expat caught up in the terror and aftermath of the horrific violence has told Nine News of the panic and the fear on the streets in the moments after the attacks and the horror of having no idea which parts of the city were safe or when it would end. Adelaide expat Lauren Kennedy Malpaz was dining just one block from the restaurant where one of the first deadly shootings took place, sending patrons into panic. I'm trying to see if there was like an annex upstairs or somewhere in the kitchen to hide or, you know, locking the doors. But um, yeah, it was pretty, it was pretty, that was probably the scariest moment in the restaurant. Even scarier, the fact her boyfriend was in another restaurant even closer. I was kind of on the phone to him like turn off the lights pretend you're not there like please can you just do something as news filtered of more attacks the streets filled with panic no one knew where they'd be safe i didn't know whether to stay put or to to go home um because the they the, they had just had the shooting at the restaurant and the gunmen were running around in the area and no one knew when it would end for three hours, uh, four hours, I, I was shaking, waiting for my boyfriend to come home. As soon as I heard his key, I ran to the door because he, his restaurant was definitely a possible target. So, um, yeah, I, no one could know when it was going to stop because it just it kept going. Even now, when it appears the worst is over, fear still fills most hearts. Our plan is really to stay indoors and like even I was saying to Jeff, I don't, I don't want you to go get your like coffee tomorrow morning. I just, you know, because you, you just don't know if there's anything to come yet. So I think we just want to play it safe for now. And despite her eight-year love affair with Paris, the 29-year-old says the ongoing terror has made her think twice about whether she'll stay on. I have to say, like, the initial thoughts I had was, like, flee somewhere to the countryside, somewhere safe, somewhere like, even somewhere like Lisbon, just somewhere safe. So, we'll see. That report from Alice Monfries, who joins us now live from North Terrace, where a vigil is being held tonight. Alice, a strong show of support here for a city on the other side of the world. Well, that's right, Kate. We may be a long way from Paris, but the terror and devastation of these attacks has been felt very strongly here too. Adelaide is home to many French nationals and many of those are among the hundred or so people who are grieving here tonight. Many came along bringing candles, some flowers and other signs saying pray for Paris. They're here to be together, to support one another and also to send a message of support to France, the victims and their families. It's not just friends that got attacked, it's the whole world, it's the, our freedom that have been touched. And um, what we want is just to show a message of solidarity. Now our city's show of support for France will also be shown at Adelaide Oval which has been lit up tonight in the colours of blue, white and red as has the footbridge. This touching symbol of solidarity was also used after the Charlie Edbo attacks earlier this year. For tonight and tomorrow, the big screens on the plaza will also read the message Stand with Paris and the flag, the French flag outside is flying at half mast outside the town hall here in the city. The attacks have affected so many. Thank you very much, Alice.